as we discussed a little bit earlier in the day, to have three picks together was, was something we haven't, haven't achieved for quite a period of time. And then it was able to give us a fair degree of flexibility going into the draft. Um, we sort of felt in the last 24 hours or so that there might have been a chance that Brodie would get through to us. Uh, and obviously that happened, which so, so, that, so, so that's really pleasing for our side of things. So we've got a really strong physical, um, the competitive ruckman come forward. I think he'll probably start forward and then work his way into the ruck. You know, when you couple him with Jared Witch, that's a real, that's a really strong combination with both really competitive tools. So, so that's, that was a real positive for us. I've known Brody for quite a period of time. He's a two-time All-Australian all player, uh, AIS um, player, along with Ben Kennedy. I mean, both boys, including actually all three boys, Tim Broomhead included, are all playing senior football. You know, you're not a, you don't become a dual All-Australian player for, um, for no reason at all. I think his, his ability, his aggression at players at both at a senior level and at a, amongst his peers is, um, you know, is unparalleled in the taller players in the draft. So, so that was really pleasing. Ben Kennedy, a, he'll start small forward that'll go through the middle of the ground. He's certainly not a, a standalone small forward. I suppose if you are going to compare him to a type of player, and this, you know, it's not to put the too, too much pressure on Ben as well, but he plays a not dissimilar type of role to um, uh, Shane Crawford. But uh, so, you know, both another ultra competitive player. Tim Broomhead is again playing senior football at Port Adelaide. He's, uh, he'll play that high half forward role, go onto the wing, and then eventually we feel he'll go through the middle. He's got a really terrific lateral movement, very, very composed with, his, with the ball in his hands. He, um, he's able to check his decisions very quickly and, and be able to adjust his decisions quickly. So we feel that um, particularly those three boys, you know, again, they're all playing senior football at probably the second best competition in the country. So that's a testament to where all three of those boys are at. We'll need to get the guys in this weekend uh, they'll meet their teammates on Monday, so it gives them roughly a week or so before they're off to, to Utah. So we'll assimilate them very quickly into the playing group, and, um, and that's obviously really important. I think that the one bonus is with being able to, to jump on the, the trip to Utah is, you know, not so much in a physical sense, but more to be able to, to adapt and get to know their, their peers and their teammates and, and, and obviously the coaching staff. So. So that's a win-win-win, and um, you know they're going to be away for a good three weeks or so, and uh, it's going to be hard work. But um, really confident, all three boys will really thrive in the program.